Yeah, hello dear students. Uh, in this video, we are going to solve CSAT 2020 question paper and uh, we have collected around uh, 50 questions and uh, uh, I can say that these questions are actually very simple if you follow the approach that we are going to discuss like in every question. Here, uh, you must have seen more of our videos which are available on YouTube and uh, I can say like the question paper is exactly like this. I mean, uh, the way we solve the questions that is actually required uh, this time in this question paper. Because the thing is, you know, uh, in CSAT, you have only like uh, two hours, two hours means 120 minutes. And you need to solve around, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you need to solve 80 questions. But obviously, the paper is qualifying. So you don't have to solve each and every question, but uh, at least like 40, 50 questions you need to solve so that you can be uh, like sure of the qualification for this paper right so for 40 50 questions if like if you are going to solve 40 50 questions then also you have uh, around 2 minutes or less than 2 minutes for every question right so obviously uh, in every question you can't use traditional mathematical approaches right because those are time taking right so you need to have some smart approaches that we have discussed in several questions in several topics of our which are available on YouTube. And today I am going to solve these questions with those approaches only which are actually required in the question paper, right? So let's start with the solution, right? Okay, the first question. The first question says a man walks down the back side of his house straight 25 meters and then turns to the right and walks 50 meters again. Then he turns towards left and again 25 meters. If his house faces to the east, faces to the east, all right. So friends, like this is north, south, east and west, fine. If his house is faces to the east, right. So his house faces towards east, it means Question says, a man walks down the back side of his house. So back side of his house is what? Towards the west, right? So he is going towards the west, straight 25 meters. So straight 25 meters towards the west, right? Okay, then turns to the right and walks 50 meters again. All right, so then turns to the right and walks 50 meters again. All right. And now then turns towards left and walks 25 meters. Okay. Then turns towards left and walks 25 meters. All right. Okay. If his house faces to the east, what is his direction from the starting point? All right. So from the starting point, if this is the starting point, so he's here, right? So in which direction he is? He is in northwest direction. Right, everyone? So the correct answer is D option, which is Northwest, right? This question belongs to direction sense topic, right? This question belongs to direction sense topic. And if for this particular question you, you talk about, I'll say the ideal solving time is 50 to 60 seconds, right? For this particular question, the ideal solving time is 50 to 60 seconds, right? And this question belongs to reasoning. Reasoning is the topic of, I mean, direction sense. Direction sense is the topic of reasoning, which is, comes under the category of GMA, general mental ability, right? All right, friends. So now let's talk about the next question. Next question says, two statements are given followed by two conclusions. Statement number one, all numbers are divisible by two, okay? Statement number two, all numbers are divisible by three, okay? Conclusion one, all numbers are divisible by 6, okay? Conclusion 2, all the numbers are divisible by 4. See, everyone, a number which is divisible by 2 and 3 simultaneously, then certainly that number is divisible by 6. I repeat, a number which is divisible by 2 and 3 simultaneously, then certainly that number is divisible by 6, right? That is for sure. But if a number is divisible by 2 and 3 simultaneously, we can't say that this number is divisible by 4 also, right? The example is 6 only, right? 6 is divisible by 2 and 3, but 6 is not divisible by 4, right? So only conclusion number 1 is the 
logical inference of the two given statements right so question says which of the above conclusion logically follows from the two given statements right so only conclusion one a option okay everyone a option right and this question belongs to ds data sufficiency data sufficiency is the topic that uh, like csat is increasing the weightage of data sufficiency day by day and this time also they have asked like around 8 10 questions from data sufficiency and uh, uh, this question belongs to data sufficiency and uh, uh, if i talk about the ideal solving time for this question the ideal solving time for this question is around 30 seconds right that's it only 30 seconds you are uh, i mean are required to solve this question okay everyone now let's talk about the next one okay the next question says two statements are given followed by two conclusions statement number one all cats are dogs okay all cats are dogs we'll be like going to solve this question with the help of a venn diagram and this question belongs to the category of syllogism right okay so all cats are dogs so inside dogs cats are there right so all cats are dogs and next statement says all cats are black so all cats are black can be shown in two ways the first is black may be here so all cats and dogs are inside the black right and the second statement it may be like this it may be like this dogs black and then cat right see second statement says all cats are black right okay so everyone conclusion number one if i talk about conclusion number one says all dogs are black all dogs are black so all dogs are black is true for this particular first condition but for the second venn diagram all dogs are not black right so for this venn diagram the first first conclusion is true but for this venn diagram the first conclusion is not true right now conclusion number two some dogs are not black some dogs are not black is true for this particular venn diagram second venn diagram some dogs are not black i mean the dogs which are coming here they are not black right outer ring right they are not black but for here but for here all dogs are black right so so first statement is true for first venn diagram and second statement is true for second venn diagram right so it means what both the statements are not i mean both the conclusion i am sorry both the conclusions are not uh, following the given two statements right so question is which of the above conclusion logically follows from the two given statements disregarding the commonly known facts okay so you can say uh, neither conclusion one nor conclusion two right correct option is option number c okay everyone right and if i talk about the ideal solving time then i'll say around 40 seconds 40 seconds or 50 seconds is the correct time right if you uh, know how to solve these type of questions properly then 40 50 seconds or maximum maximum one minute not more than that right it is the maximum that you can take for this type of questions right not more than that okay everyone now let's talk about the another one okay this question says consider the following sequence of the numbers how many odd numbers are followed by the odd numbers in the above sequence see everyone this is what this this topic is general mental ability or you can say common sense also right no any background is required for these type of questions so these type of questions are recommended for each and every student because uh, there is no background is needed for these type of questions and all the students are equal right so these type of questions you should solve like everybody should solve these type of questions okay so like consider the following sequence how many odd numbers are followed by the odd numbers right so here first five five is followed by one okay one is followed by four no seven is followed by three correct three is followed by nine correct and then five followed by seven correct three followed by one correct one followed by five correct 5 followed by 8 no okay then 3 followed by 8 no then 5 followed by 2 no 
and then 3 followed by 4 no then 9 followed by 6 no okay fine so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so here there are 6 odd numbers followed by the odd numbers right so this is the answer that's it done right so these type of questions are actually very simple everybody should solve these type of questions because they are like platter right you have to accept it okay so now if i talk about the ideal solving time for this question so ideal solving uh, solving time for this question is like around 30 40 seconds that's it not more than that maximum 30 40 seconds right maximum okay or uh like plus minus 10 seconds more that is okay right that's it okay now let's talk about the another one okay question says a is 16th from the left and in a row of boys and v is 18th from the right end okay i repeat a is 16th from the left end in a row of boys and v is 18th from the right end okay so a is 16th this is the left end and this is the right end okay a is 16th okay so a is 16th means what a is 16th means 15th boys 15 boys are behind a right now v is 18th from the right end so v is 18th from the right end means 17 boys are here okay now after that g is 11th from a towards the right and third from v towards the right end okay g is 11th from a towards the right and third from v towards the right third from v so first second and third so here it is g right all right so now one two three four so these are seven i repeat g is 11th from a towards the right so actually there are like there are four candidates here four boys here so obviously seven are left right seven plus four eleven fine so now how many boys are there in the row now just add all the numbers so 16 here and uh, seven here and then 18 here right that's it okay okay so now 16 18 is what 34 34 plus 7 is 41 right everyone so total 41 boys are there in the row right this is a good question right obviously you should have some command over these type of questions for solving these these type of questions else uh, these question would be taking some more time of your right so ideally this question should have been solved in around 60 seconds and this question belongs to number ranking right the topic is number ranking right this is a good question i mean uh, you should uh, you should practice the type, these type of questions to solve these questions correctly and within the given time in the examination right ideally 60 seconds should be taken for these type of questions not more than that right but yes uh, uh, you should be like uh, you should have practiced well for solving these type of questions it is important right all right now let's talk about the another question okay fine so this part is over right everyone and in the next part we'll have uh, like uh, for first part we have taken five questions and for next part also we'll be taking five questions in fact in every part we are taking five 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 questions each right so let's meet in the next part thank you everyone thanks for watching thank you